Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, my name is Deputy Carroll with the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department. Been here two, going on two and a half years. Excellent. You're still a boot or a rookie until you hit five years. Okay. Because at five years, you can, you're can you at the point where you don't need to ask too many questions or make too many calls to sure. your judgment. Person Cedar County unit available for reckless driver complaint. Last seen 20 mile marker 81 northbound. So you're about halfway to uh, to your to your veteran Person status. Person Cedar County unit available I mean, for I, reckless I driver complaint. I wouldn't complaint. Last go that far at all. Mile marker, <laughs> you're not a veteran until you're 10, 15 years old. Okay. You're just at the cusp of where you kind of know what you're doing. So it's it's something where you really need a lot of years of experience. Uh, I'm sure because of the diversity of calls and situations, right? Yeah. Very few situations are the same unless they're accidents. So are we still on our way to uh, uh, someone hit a deer right now? Yes. So report of a fawn that was hit by a car. Have you done this show before? Nope. Do you know any of the guys that have? Or? Yeah. Besides the guy I rode with last week? Yeah, there's been a couple. <laughs> I've always not wanted to do this. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Camera shy? Or? Being followed changes things. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest with you. I'm also the one that does the editing, so... Be good to me. But, you know, the political climate going on right now is pretty not in our favor. I'm sure. Not painted in a good light. We'll see from there. So if you were picking a day to come in and do this, you should have picked tomorrow. There'll be a big protest. Oh wow! Martinsburg Town Square is that where they're doing it or? Uh, I think outside City Hall. I think. Okay. Well, this job has definitely made me more topical and up to date on the issues. What kind of training do you guys have uh, as a as a standard, and what kind of training would be additional training? So, in the state of West Virginia, you're required to have, I believe, it's 16 hours of in-service training, and that could be anything. Anything that someone's licensed to teach or allowed to take it and use it as credits for that. Without having those 16 hours of in-service, you, your law enforcement certificate in the state of West Virginia can be suspended and or taken away, etc. Now, what kind of stuff would that be? Like defensive driving, uh, firearm safety, like any, anything like that? That all or? falls under it, as well as... Uh, Um, like protecting data, uh, oh, I didn't even think of that. reasons to pull people over, drug addiction, it, it, it's literally anything and everything that can be used as training purposes, I believe, fall into that category. So what's your favorite thing about being a law enforcement officer? Um, there's really no job like it. it. Everything you experience in your daily, day-to-day -day life is just completely different. You're never going to do the same things two, three times in a day. Birthday 173. It, it, it's always, it's very dynamic Good. and ever-changing. Are you someone that likes interacting with the public? Or? I mean, it's hard to say. I would say yes, but the majority of the public I deal with is usually drunk. <laughs> and sure. They're not the most fun to be around at times.
but as just the regular public, then by all means, yes, I, I enjoy interacting, dealing with, helping, whatnot. But more times than not, alcohol's evolved, and that's what I'm called. Are you someone that enjoys the adrenaline rush of going on a call and not knowing what to expect? Absolutely. I would think you would have to be. To you have to at least like it a little bit. But I, it's one of the better things of the job. Just the adrenaline rush. Deputy Carroll, Sheriff's Department. I'm sorry. Deputy Carroll with the Sheriff's Department. All right. Yep. Um. So I see him over there. Um. How do we want to do that? Do you find there, and do you just like try and keep the chickens out the way? Once they see you coming, because you're a stranger. Trust okay. me, they'll be out of your way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they don't. They don't. They don't trust us too much. Gotcha. Let alone someone that they're not used to, and someone who's not coming. The food. Yeah. You got the food. Gotcha. Don't worry, they'll stay away from you. Okay. Um, and then about disposing. I'll drag it down to the, I know you've got to, I got to get it down to the street. Okay. Um, do you have any of like large garbage bags? I'm sorry, large garbage bags, black ones? Because trash takes as well. Because? Uh, just to make it easier to oh, move. You know, it doesn't, it won't bother me at all. Okay. I, I used to hunt. All right. You know, it just. Well, it doesn't look like this isn't like hunting. Yeah, it <laughs> doesn't look like you have much meat on it, but <laughs> no. Come no. on. No. Okay. Yeah, Your discretion. Look at but I, I gave up you there when law enforcement Oh really? Yeah. So, all right. Uh, wild turkey. <laughs> well, that's a different story. Yeah, I'm not. A <laughs> <laughs> I love wild turkey. But now they've been started to taste off and it's a good weather for me to see what Right here. Now I'm afraid of chickens, are you? No, ma'am. <laughs> Told you. No, they is. see you coming. They're going to beat a hasty retreat. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're all going in the wrong direction, that's all. We'll, we'll move them out of there, too. Warning, the following scene contains graphic content some viewers may find upsetting. Because I, I was down here just before my wife came yelling for me and uh -huh. I was like, okay, it, it had to be some somebody flying down the road. Alright, well, if I can get you to stand back. Sure. A little bit. Ah. He knows it's coming. Yeah. Yep. That's sad. It is. It is Even though it was eating everything we plant. Yeah. It is. It, it is. I'd rather I'd rather throw rocks at it and chase it away than see it get hit by a car. Of course. <clears throat> so, as far as clean up, you're good. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll just drag it right down to the street. All right, sir. No. See until you're here. Yep. Is there a way? Because I'm not lying to you. I go to work <laughs> for six. Okay. There's traffic coming down this road. 
at five o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And they act like this is their own private friggin' speedway. The lock and the brakes up because the guy in front of them isn't going 75. Yeah. Is there, can somebody hide in this driveway right here? And Man, you would have a field day. I mean, uh, what we can do is I can put in a patrol request and just, at, at what time do you see it? About 5.36? I see it when I leave here at five in the morning, that's when it's starting. Mm -hmm. When I used to go in for seven, oh, forget it. It was, it was a nightmare on this road trying to get out of my own driveway. Okay. Because once they hit the top of the hill, they see, oh, look, there's a passing lane up ahead and that's it. They're, they're, they're gone nuts. We had our, our mailbox blown into the yard next door, into the churchyard. Yeah, this is like Still our third alive. deal. Because oh, really? they're coming yeah. so fast on the hill, they, they, they can't slow down for something like that. Yeah. So what I can do is I can put in a patrol request, just at about that time, at about 5, 5.30, to at least monitor the area and make sure no one's excessively speeding. And if they are, then we'll really take care of it that way. That'd be beautiful. All right, sir. Thanks an awful lot. No problem. So, is there anything else you need for me today? I don't. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for doing the dirty deed. Yeah. Would it have been okay if I did that myself? As oh, far as no, it being on your sure. property, uh, you're fine. Okay, and then I figured, well, once you made the call, I got to let you do it. Yeah, it, I mean, if you wanted to handle it yourself, you'd call back and say, Sorry for wasting your guys' time. I, okay. I took care of it our, ourselves. No need for law enforcement or whatnot. That's fine as well. Next but time I'll do that. As far as coming out here and taking care of it, it's not a big deal. All right. All right, sir. Thanks an awful lot. No you problem. have a good night. I hope it's boring. I hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to piss off the roosters. Um, the roosters are always another piece of <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. You have a good uh, one, man. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Let's see if I can get a get it on our little handheld antenna. You know, uh, the aluminum foil and the coat hanger. It'll also be posted on YouTube, uh, WRNR TV. RNR. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No problem. Starting the night off strong with some gunplay. Yep. That is sad though. It's not even full grown. No. One fifty one. One fifty one. Go ahead. That gear is put down. One man deserves to see you discharge. Go ahead. Go ahead. Home on calls. Like a patrol request in the area at 5 a.m. Firstly, at any state or county unit available for a traffic hazard, vehicle on the roadway, 2828 Tender Heart Lane, off of Broad Lane. For a vehicle on the roadway, tire came off, 28 Tender Heart Lane, off of Broad Lane, break. Yeah. Partially blocking the roadway. Caller would like law enforcement to respond. Four Delta X ray five one one two. Happy four Delta X ray five one one two. Yep. What happened, man? I was just 
ground is in very too long and there's no way you can put the car back on because the gloves are yeah. all messed up. Do you have a tow truck coming for it? I'm waiting for my car turn. They come with a car trailer? They, are they going to be able to get that on? We, we're, we tried, but it, the gloves are stripped. Yeah, here, let's step out the roadway. Oh, what the trip? I'm late for my grandparents and then we're, uh, we're going to get a tow truck. So, they're going to come and check out what's going on and then. Especially with it being in the middle of the road, someone's gonna get a hit, you're gonna be hit, or be able to get hit. Um, They're on their way. I'm gonna call someone and just go ahead and get out of the road. I can't have it. Alright. Uh, you got license on you? Anyone in the area in particular you want to tow the vehicle? You have that choice, but I just can't leave it in the roadway. There's a big tow company in the area that you know of, like Blessed, uh, Big K, whatever. Alright. Well, that's our control. It's going to get towed anyway. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. There's no way a car trailer would be able to get yeah. that off the ground. Yeah. So you just said you were just driving and the wheel fell yeah. off? Yeah. Gotcha. Good. Yeah. Gotcha. You got insurance for the Yeah. If you want to pull in behind them, that's fine. Need to make sure it gets out the road. Okay. I just don't want to yeah. get hurt. Hit, I understand that. Yeah. So at this time, I'm just waiting for a tow truck to come. Once the tow truck right. comes, I'll be on. Yeah, that's on fine. That's fine. I appreciate you, sir. No problem. Man. Thank you for your service. Not done yet. Just yeah. waiting to get your information back. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. on with the lecture. Don't mind me. <laughs> I mean, the good thing about this is he didn't crash. His vehicle just fell apart. It did. So, I don't have to do a police report. <laughs> cool. I don't have to do a crash report. With the lug nuts being stripped, because if you actually go see it, there, there's nothing that's going to hold on to the lug nuts to keep the tire in. It, it's not drivable at this point in time. The tire's going to fly off at any moment. Thankfully, it was on a road where no one was in the way and around. Heavy traffic. Yeah. 
would have been Interstate 81 and he probably oh, would have died. No doubt. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. I mean, in front of him. That's just what it is. You're lucked out. I know. You see a lot. Count your blessings. If that would Absolutely. have been Interstate 81 and about right now, you would have died. Yeah. That or you'd be in awful condition. Yep. Wishing you were dead.
she just didn't stop. <laughs> she did stop. She would keep going. It's a little confused. Yeah. Something like that. Domestic 342 Region River Road. Caller advised that there's a male and female shoving each other and arguing break. <laughs> Callers advising the male was trying to pull a kayak outside of the female's truck. The caller said that he had a video of the altercation. The male left in a gray Chevy. The kayak is hanging out of it. Shots and it's hitting their roof. Yeah. That 
address where the shots are coming from or next place. Affirmative. The caller is located on Bambi Drive. Winchester Avenue. Was there a cross street? No back. Are you a video guy? I am, yep. <laughs> Fun. Doing law enforcement live, following him around all night. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised y'all haven't got canceled yet. Uh, since contest. Yeah, well, okay. different because we're with local. Yeah. over the neighborhood he literally cornered me to the point where I had nowhere to go and I had to back up the neighborhood okay. to about here and so yeah okay now what all happened he, he just tried to rip it out of my trunk was it physical between you guys in any way or? a little bit but he okay. calmed down once he knew that there were people outside and so what's his name do I have to say it was okay I mean it, I at, at this point in time it's it's your discretion. I don't want to say anything. You, you I, it's okay. I have it. He's leaving me alone. I'm taking it somewhere where he can't come get it, where he physically does not have entry to. Okay. He doesn't have a pass in there. It's going to be safe. Okay. Well, we got ID on you. I Just do. So I can say I, I spoke do. with you. You don't want to do anything. Yep. Okay. Go our separate ways. You like my job? I mean. I'm going a mile up the road, <laughs> at least to fix it. <laughs> You're going on the highway, that's not going to fly. No, I'm not going on the highway, no. Okay. I think that's as bad as it better as it's gonna get. Do you have any trunk, bungees? Oh, okay. oh, yep, he does have it bungee and then I have it tied to okay. my doors. This is my pride and joy. That's the only reason why I made a big deal out of it. One thing I like to do here in the summer. I even left my life jacket down there. I don't care. I got paddles on my board. I don't care. Okay, so just ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. Was he just pissed off that you were here? He, oh, he was pissed that I came and got it. I told him I was coming to get it. He didn't think I was going to it, but I told him. Okay. I called him. I said, I'm here. I'm taking it. He said, no, you're not. Did you get it from his house and then it just escalated to down From here? him, no, like I was literally leaving to go to my house and he just happened to see me and I knew. I was trying to leave before he even got back got because I knew he was going to escalate and that's one of the reasons why I had left him is because he escalates quickly. Gotcha. You should let him go by in the other room. All right. 
so that was just he he's good he's leaving me alone he called me one time that was it so okay. i mean at this point in time it's your discretion i know so as soon as i get your information back you're good to go okay now he did hold on to the kayak so i don't know if he got hurt or anything while i was driving because he tried to run me off the road that is one thing because he just texted me and said that he hurt his foot and i was like well you grabbed onto the kayak as i was driving okay so he looked fine when he was trying to take the kayak and rip it out of my trunk so <laughs> okay <laughs> He wants to talk to us, he can talk to us, but it sounds oh, no, like he more doesn't heat. Want to. Mm. No, he doesn't want to. Imagine that. So you don't fear that he's going to try and retaliate against you in any way, shape, or form at all? No. no? Okay. Well, and I'll just go ahead and tell you, you do have options. I know. You can go file for a family protective order at the Berkeley County Courthouse. Okay. Which... Even if he's just a boyfriend, he's not like ex I mean, if you're getting anything. threatening messages, whatnot, and you feel... In, you're in fear for your safety from him. Okay. Just keep all those text messages. Go file for the family protective order at the courthouse. Okay. And what will happen is once that's filed, it'll get transferred to us. We will go out and serve it to him. Okay. Once he has been served, uh, each time he emails, texts, calls, visits your workplace, visits your house, it, it's no contact order. Okay. Each time he does, it's a misdemeanor charge. Okay. And it, it can just keep adding up. Okay. It's <clears throat> nice to know. As far as this incident is concerned, since okay. you, you don't want anything done, okay. we don't know who he is, okay. you can go on your way. All right, All right. thank you. Have a nice one. Um, he said he took off. She doesn't know where he went. She doesn't want to do anything. So, I mean, I appreciate you guys calling. But, I mean, if she doesn't want to do anything about it, as far as what happened, then that, that's her discretion. Right, right. So, do you have any questions for me no. at all? Mm. No, I mean, we kind of have a clue of what, she told us which vehicle it was to watch for. He mm -hmm. lives in here, so. Oh, really? Yes, he okay. does live in this development. Next she said it's a thing. tan Chevy, blacked out, went, um, headlights, and I mean, he's got that Pick loud muffler, mm -hmm. you know, so. We, we hear him coming through all the time, but. Okay. I mean, well. We came out to the screaming, yelling, and him pushing, and I mean, her, and they were just shoving each other in the, in the road, and he was just, you know, belligerent to her, you know, and we were just very concerned for her safety, yeah. but we didn't want to get involved. Once he left, I had her pull into here, make sure she was safe before she drove off. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, are you safe? Do you feel okay? And she said, she was worried. She's like, I'm kind of worried to leave. Okay. So we, that's why we were willing to follow her, but my daughter is the one who called. Okay. Well, yeah. I definitely appreciate the call. Okay. She, she doesn't want anything done with right. it, so There's that's, that's her prerogative. She chooses not uh, to. It's, it's up to her. But right. okay. otherwise, all right. you folks well, have a good one. Thank you all one. for coming out. We appreciate you all. No problem. Take the key. Right. Right. We're here. He's advised him in and out. Had problems here in the past two weeks. I keep arguing back and forth. He's been advised of it. The eviction process will be clear tonight.
151, guys. Stop at West Virginia in November, uniform pop of 657. It's going to be a blue. Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. 